Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove wrinkles in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new redesign flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Today's episode is gonna be relatively quick. I wanna show you guys how you can get rid of wrinkles in Photoshop. This is something you're gonna be doing if you're photographing people who have wrinkles. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. But there's some kind of things to look out for. Um, I find in my experience, sometimes when I see like wrinkles removed in Photoshop, it's like totally obvious, right? You have a like a, an older person and they've got like no wrinkles on their face, but they look like they should have wrinkles. And that in my opinion is the wrong way to do it. I think when you remove wrinkles, it's better to like really reduce them rather than get rid of them completely. And I've got an amazing technique to do that. So I'm gonna show you a technique if you wanna completely get rid of them, I'm gonna show you a technique to do that. And then I'm gonna show you a technique that actually I prefer that just reduces the amount of wrinkle that you see. So here's our image from photolia.com. It's a wonderful image to show you guys how to get rid of some wrinkles. Now, we're, we're gonna do basically, I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna start off with the tool that I would recommend. This is if you wanna completely remove the wrinkles. So this is the first part. After this, I'm gonna show you the second version. Okay, so if you wanna completely remove them, the tool I would suggest is go right over here to your healing brush tool and I would grab either your spot healing brush tool or just your regular healing brush tool. All right, so I'm gonna click on my regular healing brush. All these settings, you want this to be normal right over here. And then because I'm on a new layer, I wanna make sure that I'm sampling current and below. And that's gonna sample this layer and anything that's below it as well. Okay, so this is a tool that's relatively easy to use. Just make sure you have your brush size. You want your size about a little bit larger than the actual wrinkle. So the wrinkles, you know, it's not just the line, it's like the highlight above it and the shadow below it. So right about that brush size for these wrinkles looks pretty good. Basically, um, all I'm gonna do is hold down Alt or Option, click on anywhere right under, basically where I don't have a wrinkle, and then I'm gonna paint right over top of where I do have the wrinkle. You know what, I'm gonna make my brush a little bit larger. The larger you make your brush, it's gonna just make the effect look a lot more natural. There we go, let's see. Kind of paint it in there. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. This healing brush tool, you can use, the, again, the spot healing brush tool, you can use uh, just the regular healing brush tool like I'm using. It does a great job of like actually patching in skin. So what it does is it takes the texture from the area I'm sampling and it takes the color from the area I'm painting and then it blends the two together. So it's a lot like the clone stamp tool, except it actually blends the two together. Um, so when you're working with skin, I find that the healing brush tool is a lot better tool to use than the clone stamp tool. So this is it. If you wanted to completely get rid of wrinkles, Photoshop makes it very, very easy for you to do that. Basically just sample the area right next to the wrinkle and paint over it. And if you just need to you know, sample this again, like let's say that you paint over an area and you didn't really like the results, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is sample and paint over it again and it'll basically just do the same thing over and over again. All right, there we go. So just kind of painting these on and that looks pretty good there. Okay, so this would be the technique of like pretty much getting rid of all the wrinkles. And you could just continue going over the entire image with this. So let's turn this off and on. There's with this off and then here it is back on. And it does a great job. The, the issue that I have normally is that like it looks too perfect. Like she, this is an older woman. She's got wrinkles and like the quality of her skin and she should have like a little bit of wrinkle. Like that's just gonna be realistic. I mean, I've got wrinkles around my eyes and like if you just completely reduce them, it, it doesn't tend to like actually match how the person looks. So now I'm gonna show you the technique that I prefer, which is just gonna greatly reduce the wrinkles. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate our background layer. So I'm gonna hit Command J, and this technique you actually do want to apply on a layer that has something on it. I'll tell you one in a second. So we're gonna be using our clone stamps tool. So S for the clone stamp tool. You can set this to current and below or just current. Either will be fine because you're on on a layer that actually has pixels on it. Now, if I just, let's say I were to grab, there we go, let's make that invisible. Let's say I were to grab an area right here and just start painting it in right there. That's basically what the clone stamp does. It does an exact copy. Now, this, you can obviously see, that doesn't look that good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually gonna change the mode of the brush for my clone stamp. So clone stamp tool, then you wanna go up here to mode, and here's where I'm gonna go down to lighten. Okay, 
Now, using this lighten mode, I'm able to sample areas that are right around wherever I'm going to actually paint and actually just paint these wrinkles in. And what I'm doing is basically I'm just getting rid of the dark part of the wrinkle. So the wrinkle, like, it's still there. This is, it still looks like normal, natural skin. Just the dark areas are going away because I'm using this lighten mode with my clone stamp tool. Now, if you're on a new layer, this is not gonna work. Alt or option, it's gonna work as a totally normal clone stamp tool, okay? So if you're on a new layer, it's not gonna work. You can see this is just acting like a totally normal clone stamp tool. So it has to be on a layer with pixels because that's what, it kind of uses that to say like, okay, I should lighten the pixels that are already on this layer. So that's the key there is making sure you're on a layer that has pixels on it. So just create a duplicate of your background layer and you're good to go. So you can see I'm actually doing this a lot quicker than I was doing with the healing brush tool. And that's because I'm not really worried about anything. It's not actually trying to take any skin texture you know, from one area to another one. What we're doing is we're just kind of lightening. You can use this on age spots and things like that. It's a really, really quick method that you can just sample skin that's right next to wherever you want to paint and then it's just going to lighten up the dark parts of the wrinkles. There we go. Let's just lighten these up. All right, and we'll get the eyebrow. See, you can paint over hair and everything like that. It's gonna look a lot more natural than the healing brush tool method, in my opinion. Now, sometimes you might you know, get a client that wants the wrinkles completely removed. In that case, just use the first version that I showed you. But in my opinion, let's turn this off and on. You can still see the skin looks 100% natural and it, it looks like the skin you know, would actually look like that. Um, as opposed to this version where it, it's just completely cleaned up and it, it's like it's too smooth in my opinion. So there's a really quick tip on removing wrinkles, both the completely remove the wrinkles way and doing it the more realistic way, which is the way that I prefer. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Super quick, straight to the point, and I hope this helps you out. If you have an idea for an episode that you'd like to see here on Flurn.com, please leave it in a comment right down below. Or if you have other questions about today's technique, we'd love to help you out and answer those. And if you like what we're doing here at Flurn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we release several of these videos every single week and you can learn Photoshop and photography without ever leaving this channel. And if you know anyone who would like to learn Photoshop, point them to Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Thanks so much guys and we'll Flurn you later. Bye everyone. Which is just gonna great 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 greatly reduce them. <laughs> Woo! Hidden gems, you'd never know it, but I've got a ponytail right now. <laughs> Check out my pony. Yeah, that's right. I got a man a man pony going on in the back. <laughs> a brony. I got a brony going back here. <laughs> oh boy.